right, uh, next game, Star Fox Zero, the big one. Um, yeah, we played it, and uh, it looked a lot like, yeah, Star Fox. There's not really that much to say about it. It really is Star Fox, as you all expect it to be, uh, meaning you fly your star wing, shoot some enemies, uh, take down bosses, and advance in the level. Uh, new is the cockpit vision. So you use your uh, gamepad to uh, search your enemies, look for them, aim, um, and shoot it if yeah for me it didn't work that great because you had to switch your vision too much between the television and the gamepad so i would definitely like the option um, to turn off the uh, motion controls of the gamepad but all in all it offers a classic star fox experience uh, even the transformations feel uh, rather familiar nay says miyamoto no you can't change gyroscopes will be in forever um yeah no uh, the the same issues you had i had in the in the beginning but i was getting used to them so probably probably after like a, a bit of time i i i probably get used to them um I like the character pro portraits a lot. Like some of them sticked out a bit more as like the 3DS version and just a bit bland, but like Falco, Fox, um Slippy and F Slippy, uh Peppy and all they, they look great. They they had nice fur tech and they, the the shading was nice. It made them, it really made them feel like they were in a cockpit and it just wasn't the screen, the the, the green lighting on them. Kind of made them look like it's serious business, uh, and that makes me hope there are more than than like uh, the original Star Fox cutscenes, because those models look way too good for just to use like in those models. Just just let Star Fox run around and be like, "Yo, what's up? Oh, Andros is there. Let's go wreck his shop." Uh, um, I, I like the the the, the T Rex bird thingy. What's what's his name? I don't know. Uh, the the T-Rex, the gridlock, I like gridlock. Um, yeah, there were a few problems with, with switching to the gamepad. Um, and one last thing I just have to say is, I don't really know why we wanted a Star Fox in the first place. It, it, it looks great, yeah, it's plays like, it plays like Star Fox. But there are a lot of games that can do that, and I don't feel like Star Fox's characters are that much of like characters it's not like oh it's been ages since we've seen fox so yeah i don't i don't really know what's going on with star fox like why we wanted it that being said i'm glad it's back uh it's gonna be fun next up is f-zero yeah i do hope f-zero will return uh, i have the same issue uh it's star fox everybody was asking for it but now that i've actually played it i feel like yeah it's good, but why do we need it? Uh, I don't know. Uh, Graphic-wise, I think the game can improve a lot. Uh, the character designs are great. Uh, the vehicles are great. But the environment, really, they, they lack uh, detail. They're far too empty, far too blurry, even. Uh, it's not Wii U level, so please, Nintendo, make the game look better. Uh, there are some nice little details. You, you saw the moon on the background. Uh, really look great. Um, but overall, the game still feels and looks like it's unfinished which makes sense of course because it isn't finished but we hope the game will improve a lot uh, before it releases the main thing i, I just kind of think about is the fact that platinum is making the single player just screams to me that they don't want star fox to be that much of a single player experience more than a multiplayer experience which could go neither way um if the multiplayer is great, like who the who the hell cares? If the single player is bad, like you know, you know the, the the original Star Fox had fun multiplayer, but these ones will probably uh, this one could could be something really special. Think Kid, Kid Icarus, Splatoon, think something like that, but done with Star Fox, or or a bit like the the air battles in in Battlefield or um, Battlefront or something like that. <laughs> 